What's good everybody? Chris here again. Chris Goes Outdoors. We're back today after the holiday season. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I spent most of mine up in Maine. And then New Year's Eve, I spent sick in bed. Wonderful, right? Still getting over the cold I developed over that weekend. But I did manage to hit a REI garage sale this past weekend. The first two I went to, I did okay. Found some good stuff. But this one, I kind of made out like a bandit. And I want to show you what I got. We're going to do that right now. gonna start this off usually these garage sales I see one or two things that I feel like are worth picking up this time around I ended up with six things so I'll show you what I got and explain why exactly I picked it up so first off we have right here as you can see this is a brand new brand new still has the tags on it this is an Osprey ozone 24 day pack and I had an Osprey daylight pack that I had been using um, for work actually I did use it on day hikes as well but recently sold it, I didn't particularly care for the pack. Whenever you loaded it up, it was really front heavy and you could never sit it down, it always rolled over. So I've been on the lookout for a new work bag and lo and behold, this thing was just sitting on a rack. Everybody kept walking by it and I'm not exactly sure why, but, and I believe the reason that they have it in the garage sale is there's a slight smudge, that very, very slight smudge on the E here on Ozone. I couldn't even see it, so pick that up quickly and this pack typically goes for a hundred dollars new without coupons or anything and I paid nineteen dollars and eighty three cents for it brand new hundred dollar pack 1983 out the door you bet I'll take it this is a great bag you could use this for work or as an actual day pack it's got a laptop compartment in it a nice storage pocket in the front here so you can organize all your work related things and such but very cool pickup, I was pumped about this. So next up, I had been looking around for one of these for a while, mainly for winter hiking, winter camping and stuff like that. Couldn't get myself to pay the actual full price for one of these. And I saw this thing kicking around. Uh, and this is a 40 ounce hydro flask, wide mouth top. Uh, and these usually run around $45. Um, I picked this one up for $20.83. The reason for return on this was used but bottled is too big. I paid half of retail and it's essentially like new. There's no markings on it at all whatsoever. All lacked out pretty good with this guy. So next up I picked up a Petzl Tika Plus headlamp and the description on the return tag on this said didn't work slash used. So I thought to myself all right well it could just be a battery, it could be something else. And the person who returned it put it back in the packaging a little bit. So I just opened the packaging, I hit the light, and yeah, it uh, it works, I assure you. And I paid $8.83 for it. Uh, it's typically around a 28-ish dollar headlamp. It's nothing too special. I do have an REI Revolt too that I use, but I don't mind having this as backup or for the lady friend or for anybody else that might happen to go hiking with me on a day hike or something that doesn't happen to have one, you can be like, here, take this. So, for eight bucks, I'll take it. So, for number four, I picked up this guy up in the clothing section, uh, and it is a mountain hardware vest, and it's got that nice Polar Tech fleece lining on the inside. I love this stuff. It's, it's like super warm and breathable. I have an outdoor research one made of this. I have a couple of the Patagonian ones like this and I love them. I bought this one in particular with work in mind so it will be mostly worn to work. And this they claim is brand new, it's just that the tags fell off. So I said hey, whatever. It does look brand new, it definitely doesn't look like it's been worn. So I picked this one up for the nice price of $14.83. No, uh, no issues at all with this thing. It says the price on is typically $47.73. I don't know if that's true or not, but but yeah, it's solid. It's got a uh, zipper pockets, a zipper up here, and yeah, overall, pretty cool buy, I think. All right, for the final two, these were kind of, all right, I, I lucked out hard on these. Near the end, I kind of like to go around the store again one more time and just look to see if people put stuff back that they, you know, had second thoughts about. And I caught two items that I'm, uh, I'm genuinely shocked that I kind of walked out with. And I'll show you the first one here, what we got here is an Arcteryx Atom LT hoodie. 
So this is a pretty lightweight, I wouldn't say deep winter jacket, it's, it's pretty warm altogether. Um, for maybe a southern winter I feel like you'd be alright, but you would definitely want to layer this with something else I feel like up in New England where we are. But super lightweight jacket, it weighs less than a pound, it's I think 14 ounces. And the going rate on these, uh, on Amazon and a bunch of other sites right now, these are in the $250 range. And this one was returned, it says, worn lightly, returned. I paid 70 bucks for this thing. It's a great jacket. I've been wearing this thing since I bought it, and I love this jacket. It is awesome. So, super lightweight. It's got zippers on the pockets. It's got this different lining on the side that kind of stretches out. The cuffs on these are unlike any other cuff I've ever worn. It's hard to describe. I'll try to do a full review on most of this gear later on. The cuff on this thing is awesome. The hood's great for a balding man like myself. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, and last but certainly not least, right near the end, a buddy of mine had a tent that he was considering getting the whole time. He decided not to get it. We went back, he put it back in the tent section of the garage sale. He spotted this just out of the corner of his eye. He's like, oh, it's a copper spur there. So I already own a copper spur, UL2, and I love it. I think it's a great tent. And it's the exact same thing. I believe it's a little bit older than the one I have, but you know, whatever. I'll show you what it came in. So this is how it was all bagged. Just thrown in a plastic bag. Uh, 10 steaks are in there, as you might have just heard when I dropped it. So I was kind of like, man, why did they, why did they return this? And I'll show you the tag, I'll put a picture up of it. It was initially listed at 126, it didn't sell. Listed at 88.83 and didn't sell. Then listed at 59.83. So this tent was $60. And the reason for return or description is listed as broken zipper. I don't know how everybody else's garage sales work across the country, but at our store, um, in Massachusetts, they said to us straight up, if you want to test the tent out before you buy it, you can give us your ID, go run outside, set it up, and see if it's what you want. So, needless to say, I checked out everything else, bought it, put it in my car, and I took this, I set it up directly next to the store, in a little alleyway next to it, and the tent does have a little bit of damage. There's a section on one of the doors that's repaired with tape, and there's a couple little spots underneath that door that have a couple of repaired holes. So it's not perfect, but all the zippers worked fine, the rain fly worked fine, zippers on the doors, good, zippers on the rain fly, excellent, holes were all good, everything was good. So besides a couple holes and a couple repair jobs, this is, if you buy a brand new, no discounts, this is, I think the tent goes for $430, and I picked it up for 60 bucks. I mean, that's pretty legit. Great deal, 60 bucks out the door, no problem. I would take this anytime, anytime. So yeah, that's it everyone. Trip Art Tower is really good for me. Uh, almost didn't go, and when we did, I only initially was looking for snowshoes, which they didn't have any of in the garage sale. But hey, I ended up looking up pretty good, so no complaints here. Uh, if you have any cool story, you know, something you might have found at the garage sale, feel free to drop it in the comments, you know, nothing like gloating on uh, glories of the garage sale, having to fight people off to get in there. Looking at you, the girl who stole my Osprey Atmos 65. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate a like, comment, subscribe. I hate asking for it, I really do, but it helps make my videos appear irrelevant according to the YouTube machine, and it is genuinely appreciated. And yeah, definitely stay tuned. I got, I'm hoping a lot of uh, very, very cool stuff coming up this new year. So that's all I can say for now. We'll see what happens in the next couple weeks. And until then, keep it real. Stalk me on Instagram, Chris Goes Outdoors, and check out some of my other videos. And yeah, until next time, keep it real. We'll see you then.